good morning everyone the main aim of this tutorial is to teach you how to connect php to my sql the first thing you need to do is to download one server from this site or either zamp or for some operating system you need lamp or map so i'm using one currently for this tutorial so you download one from this from this website once you have one installed then you can launch it So you check your tax bar, you see one turn green. Once it is green, then you are good to go. Then the first thing we do is to create a database, a database name. Then we we'll go to our PHP admin, which we can launch from one. And then we we'll create a database. I'll be creating a data database name called Toot database created then after that we minimize then we can go to our notepad then we can start coding we start with our php opening tag and a php closing tag then we have a variable that holds our database server name which is localhost variable that holds my database user name which is root for some local host you have password but for mine I, i'm not using a password currently so i leave it empty then we have a db that means our database name which is suits like we created then the next thing we'll do is to go to to create a query that connects that check for this value in our database create a query with variable con new class new my sqli with the parameters db server db user db pass and db self we have a semicolon then we check if an error called if coin connection underscore error that's an error function then trigger show the error else echo connection successful we save this into our ww directory under one this is our one folder we look for the ww directory then we look for the folder we can create a folder there a name tutorial Then we save our file name as toots.php. Then we we'll click save. Then we we'll go to our browser to test this out. We have localhost slash tutorial and slash toots.php. We run this. We have the connection successful. Let's see if the if the little code we have written can detect error. We change this database name to a name that doesn't exist in our database and we save. We reload this and it gives us an error. Thank you for watching the video. Please do like and subscribe.